What's going on ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to another video. Hopefully you guys at home are having a fantastic day. Before we jump into today's video, guys, a huge shout out to NordVPN for sponsoring today's video. NordVPN is easy to use, connect with one click or enable auto connect for a zero click protection. With over 5,200 servers in 60 countries, you can find a server near you for a better speed or in a faraway location for more content. Six devices on every major platform, Windows, Android, iOS, Mac OS, and Linux. Even your Android TV supports NordVPN. And it just takes one click. Open your map, click a location, and you'll be connected in seconds. It's that easy. NordVPN has amazing speed and it's been confirmed by speed tests. Nord is the fastest VPN out there. So if you guys at home wanna check out Nord for yourself, all you gotta do is click the link down in the description down below and go to nordvpn.com slash flare to get a two year plan plus four additional months with a huge discount. So if you're like me and you're always browsing the internet, NordVPN is a game changer for you folks. Like I said, link down below, check it out. It is brands like NordVPN that I partner up with that allow me to do what I do every single day, which is make videos for you guys at home to enjoy. So with that being said, enjoy the rest of today's video. Shoo! Oh, rip to the Mondos, buddy. It's brighter than hell out here. How you folks doing? Big day. We're already getting started. We're late to the party. We're freaking drilling well, baby. We are getting it done, dude. This has been a long process. I mean, we've been trying to get this done for months. Long time. Months. Different contractors, different contacts, different well guys, plumbing guys, pipe guys, electrical guys. For some reason, this was like the hardest project I've ever had to coordinate and it was very, honestly, it's a fairly simple project in my opinion. It's simple in the sense that it gets done to every homestead in the country. You know, that doesn't have city water, they drill wells. It was impossible to get everything coordinated, especially in time for duck season. So we're late to the party. I mean, I wanted this thing drilled and so we're at the farm in case you guys are curious. I wanted the water in there like two weeks ago but here we are we're ready to get it filled right before duck season so the boys out here they're getting the well drill we're doing a 10 inch well i believe 10 inch 500 gallons a minute is what we were able to get out of it they've got the whole rig out there they dug a hole i don't know where the hell that water's coming from but it's coming from somewhere it looks like there's a lot of water coming they got the little crane deal and that guy brings that thing up there and it shoots the pipe down to the water and it drills it there's like a little maybe is that is that what they're doing that thing spins so that's drilling into the ground and we're going 58 feet deep is what it took to hit water which wasn't bad at all compared to what i, I thought it'd be it wasn't awful but the whole rig's here like so we are putting in a well finally i procrastinated just because of how expensive this is i mean again i usually don't talk about how expensive the things are that i do you know for videos and stuff because that's not really what it's about but for example this is a thirty thousand dollar project just to get some damn water i mean i'm just like i could go buy a brand new car right now and ramp it off a cliff and come out more ahead than what i've got going on here that's kind of the plan i mean this is the leaky duck impoundment there's a really good chance it leaks still. If I was to guess, what's gonna have to happen is we're gonna trench this in, we're gonna run the line through the field, and we're gonna have the outspout go up on the north side. So that way, if we're running water, it could second as an ice eater. They are also gonna run power as they run the trench. So then we can plug in ice eaters and run power to the blinds if we want. If we end up putting like a permanent blind in, we'll have power. So we're getting this thing pretty dialed in, but this thing still leaks. We did not build it the correct way. We built it on a budget. Up to this point, this thing hasn't cost me any money the dirt was just used from this like you can see right here so they took dozers and they pushed up this dirt that was last year we didn't pack it in we didn't bring clay in. we didn't do any of it the right way but i wanted to do it cheap because to do it the right way you're you know you're talking probably another if you have to haul in clay the sky's the limit with price but if you're just going to use the dirt that's around here i mean you're talking probably another thirty thousand dollars to get the berm right so we wanted to do it on a budget because we weren't sure if the ducks would like it last year we built it we flooded it using a tractor pump from the old riverbed that's right there so there's literally all those tall trees just right here real close tall trees there's water on the other side so like you could technically put a trash pump and run it across the only problem you have with that is beavers will plug it up debris will plug it up it's a constant maintenance thing this thing no maintenance i literally walk up i flip a switch like literally i flip a light switch and boom 500 gallons a minute are pumping i wouldn't call it the lazy way to do it but it's the we debated okay trust me i don't want to spend thirty thousand dollars on this any more than anyone else would but i was like listen for us to get 
a good trash pump, everything, the hose, the lay flat hose, everything. I mean, you're still talking five, ten thousand dollars, depending on how many gallons per minute you want. That's the other thing is you're not going to get a five hundred gallon per minute trash pump to come out here, and then you got to fill it with fuel, and then you got to run extender fuel tanks. Basically, I would have to hire somebody or send somebody out there all the time to maintenance it, because this place isn't super super close to my house. They'd have to maintenance it all the time, meaning like, oh yep, yeah, go fill it up, yep, go fill it up, go fill it up, and I know what would happen. We would do it, and then next year we're like, man, that was a pain in the ass. Let's just put a well in. Now you're 30 plus whatever you put into the trash pump and, and that type of irrigation. And to me, it's like, just do it right the first time. Don't half-ass it like you do a bunch of other stuff. And, and I know some of you guys give me a hard time about half-assing, okay? Most of the time I half-ass it to save some money, save some time, and just get it good enough. I've got so many projects going, I can't completely to a T finish all of them exactly through and through all at one time. But anyways, Zach and I are gonna probably gonna jump in the tank. We're gonna drive around, see what it's looking like. We are gonna scout for teal too. We've got two blinds out on the riverbed, so in case this water isn't filled and the teal don't start using it by opener we're gonna probably be hunting on the old riverbeds we need to scout check out our blinds make sure they're still alive and well see how deep the old riverbed is we got some waders we can wear just to go scout it and kind of make sure but these guys are right now they're laying hella pipe and they're gonna be trenching it and so we have to go out there and put a stake down where we want the outflow of the water and the power to come out in the middle like so we're, we're favoring the north side because the north side is the high side so if you pump it on the high side it's gonna naturally filter to the low side and he was saying you're going to be dealing with some iron like maybe ironish water and the grass as it filters will help get rid of that which is what you want you don't want to pump straight iron water into your duck hole that's kind of what he was saying oh i think i got off topic but what i was saying is if it still leaks this year we're just going to roll with it because if it leaks you just pump full more but we're probably going to have to tear out this whole levee and bring in chad my pond builder who's been doing the house pad and he's going to be doing the ranch pond and all that and he's going to have to rebuild it bring in some clay bring in packers and do it the right way and probably throw another thirty thousand dollars at it i mean land development folks is a money pit i will tell you what i love every second of it don't get me wrong it's a great time i have an awesome time doing it it's, it's my passion i love it but it's just a money pit at, at, at the end of the day it really is you're a lot better off just going to public okay i'm just telling you right now so how you feeling about it they laying pipe out there oh yeah i didn't know where you ran off to i was looking for i was wandering i was telling the folks at home how much money i'm spending on stuff that on a leaky pond that'll probably still leak yeah, uh, i wonder how much it would cost to buy enough gallons of water to fill this right. versus so this is two million gallons of water what's a gallon of water cost yes about a dollar okay so two million dollars versus yeah. thirty thousand I, I okay we're I, I got a great deal we, we're, we're bargain shopping now boys wow sheesh and this thing leaks about a million gallons a week at least it did last year i assume it sealed up a little better than that but we never know so that's the thing it's like you're gonna pump it full of two million gallons and then one week later you're going to pump another million one week later you're going to pump another million one week later you're going to pump another million and more than likely it's probably going to flood this field so i apologize Apologize to Kai Dog the farmer. Probably gonna do some damage to the crops, which I'll pay for. I own this land. I rent out the crop harvest. I'll just. <laughs> I'll square up with them later. But we're trying to kill freaking ducks, folks. That's priority number one. We gotta get the duck videos for you guys. So they're getting piped late. Are they drilling right now? Is that what that thing? I don't, I've, I've never drilled a well. It's like a big drill bit. Have you seen these doves around here? There's a lot of doves, by the way. I've seen quite a few of them going from tree to tree. It's getting me excited. We might have to carry the shoddy when we're scouting just in case stuff gets western. But they're drilling right now. I don't know where the hell that water's coming from, but it's come from somewhere. And then that looks like the 10 inch pipe. Is the metal pipe the well? It's gotta be, right? It's not plastic. Yeah. So like that's what stays in the ground. Yeah. Is that metal pipe so those are probably 10 12 foot each and he'll have to go down 58 so he's probably gonna do whatever five six of them i'm guessing and then that white pipe right there is what's gonna lay all the way up there and so zach and i are gonna go out there and scout and find the spot mark it for these boys so they know where to put it they're gonna mark power out there and everything else we're trying to get this place to be turnkey waterfowl you show up you got your ice you're going late mallards are just doing it dirty and all that but we'll see what happens so let's go ahead and jump in the tank and get to scouting get to marking maybe shooting some doves you guys stay tuned <laughs> They seen the rock? Oh no, they haven't. Look at the gravel we spread. Doesn't that look amazing? We got a little bit more to do. But look, we got a parking lot up front now. Can you see that? Our barn door don't slide. Nah, that broke already. So I think we built Wait, it. What? It didn't yeah. work anymore? Oh, it don't slide. Really? Too, you know, I don't no. I had to use the skillet to push it open. Wow, I didn't know that. We built it too heavy. We should have used a little less wood, I think. And then I think the rollers are just shot. 
So I called some guy to come fix it, so I'm not dealing with it anymore. Once the door's working, I mean, we got a nice gravel pad in here. We'll button up the back and whatnot. So anyways, I, give, I forgot you guys hadn't seen the finished product, but I came in here and I laid some rock down and got it situated. So we're developing this property. I know I've had this property. Actually, this is the first piece of land I ever bought. So I've had this longer than any other spot. I've had it longer in my house or whatever, but I wouldn't say we've neglected it, but we just hadn't really come up with any great ideas for development. Now it's like we got the duck marsh. We're going to flood it. Now that we're going to be here a lot more and longer into the duck season, since we're going to have power to keep it open in the winter, we wanted to have a spot we could pull our trucks in, side by sides in, have the decoys, clean the birds, do all that fun stuff. Anyways, rock is down. Now let's get to scout. about lined up with the boys here. I don't plan on utilizing the Alpha as an ice eater, as like a, a bubbler, because you can't just like turn it on and let it run for weeks. This thing will overflow and cause another flood again. It's more just like a bonus, right? Like you go out there, you break some ice, you flip it on while you're putting out decoys and it'll push your ice around if need be, but it's not like a run it all day long. So it doesn't need to be perfect. Do you think they should angle it to shoot closer or do you want it out from the decoys, out from the blind That's what I was further thinking. just to be safer? Yeah. That if, way you're not shooting it. Yeah, <laughs> also true. You don't want to shoot it. Otherwise, worst case, absolute worst case scenario. If like, bro, we need water in front of the blind. You just put a little connector and lay some more pipe. No one complains about doing that. So we could do that, worst case. But this right now, I'll show you. It's kind of right in the middle. So that's our teal corner. Back in that corner is going to be where we got tealed. It, this is a low spot. This was corn. It ain't corn anymore. There's not a cob left, unfortunately, for the ducks because there's no food. But that's nice and high ground to where we could plant corn. We could plant corn next year right here. So you have a strip of corn that way if, if it's open here you can actually hunt there and shoot this way you'd be shooting to the west but that's also not a huge deal either like you can always put in the corner and have a little kind of in between but that's i mean that's due north right over there that's due north ideally you'd put your blind somewhere back there we'd brush it in more of your permanent blind would go over there since that's where you're going to be hunting when it's cold and when it's not cold i don't even really like hunting in a blind i don't i can't see as well i'd rather just sit against the bank and not move and then shoot the birds when they come in but when it's cold get me in that damn blind with the heater you know what i'm saying and cook up some food so we're thinking probably our north strat's gonna be there it's an easy flyway i mean there's no see there's no trees they have to worry about finishing over i mean that one but that's that's real far if they don't want to finish over that that's that's their own problem they should be able to fly down the river and come and land anywhere over here on the north end we have a little spot right there in the cattails and so you guys saw we planted millet not a lick of it came up not a lick we planted it way too late like basically if we didn't flood it and we let it grow for another two months then you would have millet with seed heads and stuff, Japanese millet. There's none out here. Everything you see, that is all barnyard grass. There's no, we didn't actually, we didn't plant even millet over here. We planted it in that corner and none of it came up. Zero percent of it came up. It was like a 90 day mature and I think we're on day like 50. So we missed it by a lot, folks. I was a little optimistic with our growing abilities. And we didn't fertilize it or anything, which is also not a good deal. So I think, yeah, you can see them now. Pretty much a straight shot. Do you think there's any benefit to, I mean, you may not want it super close to cattails in case you want to hunt in them. I mean, like you could sit in these cat, you know, cattails are good cover. Granted, they're gonna probably wipe them out when they're laying the pipe. But you know, I didn't know if we wanted it in there or do you want it in the center? Do you want it right where the tank is? What do you think? So I'm guessing where we're gonna hunt the most would be either in the corn or in the corner or maybe completely due north, which would be over that way. What are you feeling right now? If you were a duck, where would you want your water pumping from? Maybe you throw it right there in the right here. Stab in the middle of everything. Well, what's gonna happen is we're flooding on it's on the high side. So when you flood it, it'll trickle down because that's really low where the cattails are. That's low where that is. So honestly, the last thing to have water is gonna be our north because it's gonna flow and everything's just gonna. But eventually, it should backflow. So that's why I was wondering: do we push it this way? But then you're worried about putting your decoys around it and it looking goofy because if it's not shooting water that way, that will be dry until the whole pool is full. And if it leaks, we may never get to that point. So I'm almost so thinking maybe I may be cheating yeah. it this way yeah. just to guarantee us some water on the north side. What do you think about where that little brown fluffy patch is? Yeah. You think that? Because they can just run it. So right over here, I think we're going to we're going to mark it for these fellas. They know where to lay the pipe. If you pumped here, that would guarantee water over there. It would at least somewhat shoot that way, I would think. And we're still pretty lined up. I mean, honestly, we're, we're pretty darn straight. So I'd say that needs to be where the pipe goes. 
and they're, they're also trenching water. Where the water is gonna go is where the pipe, or is where the, not the pipe, the power is gonna go. And so you also wanna do this where you're gonna be planting and stuff like that. So I don't think we're gonna be doing a whole lot of planting. Even if we do millet, you can plant millet around this type of stuff. It's not a huge deal. And you're not doing row crops. So we'll have power here. That way you can run an extension cord out there for your ice eater. There, I mean, you can have a 360 station of ice eaters that just and just keep it open all the time. That way, if we're like, man, this isn't working, the ducks don't wanna finish this close over there because there's the road and the power line, who knows? In like the middle is just the juice. You can still run an ice eater over there. We're trying to play it safe here. We're trying not to put all of our eggs in one basket or one side of the basket, if that makes sense. So where that stake is, we'll tell them, put the outflow, put the power a safe distance from it so water don't shoot into the outlet because that probably wouldn't do any good for anybody and we should be good. So they're drilling away. We're gonna get to scouting. We got the waders on it. We can check the blinds, check the depths, and I'll get Good stuff, so you guys stay tuned. boys oh my god I've never drilled well but I'm not sure that's supposed to happen who needs Yellowstone we got old faithful right here buddy. That. oh that see they got a trash pump right there we could just use that ask them to borrow it I'm not sure what state we're in but I mean it looks like they might have put the top on it I think the yeah. well might be about drilled these guys are pretty efficient that was like two hours pretty darn quick so we're gonna sit here and wash this water, do water things. We'll see what's next, you guys stay tuned. been put in the boys ran off to go get that pipe that is the goal i don't know if they're going to come back today and put it in or tomorrow i mean we'll be back tomorrow to film it obviously well this is a ooh 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 yikes ooh look at that she we got a freaking well that's what i'm talking about so i'm guessing they hook up some doohickey there and they get something else for the pump i think they they find this in the ground what is this I don't know what that is. That's an old piece of something equipment. They angled it just, I wonder if they can twist that because it's off just a hair, but pretty much, you can see where the beans are kind of crushed. Straight through is where it's going to be. So it should be pretty easy. So they still need to trench it and then they're going to lay the pipe. Basically, I'm guessing they're going to go some type of arc shoot it down, run it back all the way out there and have the outflow. So I'll call them, see when they're gonna bring it, but I'm guessing we're not gonna do a whole lot the rest of the day today. It's already getting kind of late. I'm guessing tomorrow the pipe is gonna get laid. Now they said that the electrician probably won't be able to make it out here in time to get it pumped for opener since that's coming up pretty quick here. So he's got a generator he said he would let us use to at least get a day or two worth of water put in. We think two days would get it full. One day would probably get it full enough for teal where that south end in that corner should have water the north side might not it may or may not he thinks he can get 500 gallons a minute which is a lot i mean i would say a lot you can get a lot more than that but it's it's enough for a two acre spot it really is plenty so there's the update the well is in they're gonna get some pipe put some pipe in the ground the electrician's gonna come out some point it may be tomorrow it may be later on but either way we should hopefully be able to get some water in here for opening day of teal so you guys stay tuned we are back folks next day who this the boys got that pipe today's objective lay that pipe they got everything fitted in i think the well's pretty much done no power they brought that generator over there so that'd be good we gotta start pumping today boys we got birds to kill we gotta start pumping they've got the pipe they're gonna trench it they brought the skid loader i think i'm guessing they're gonna trench it with that thing uh, that's my guess at least so we're gonna lay that pipe all the way across have the outflow of it they're not gonna lay electrical but it'll be somewhat fitted for that hook the generator on and start getting Getting that water filled up. We were here a little bit earlier this morning, just kind of scouting around, messing around a little bit. Actually, we filmed a Beefcake Club vlog. So if you're not part of the Beefcake Club and you want to see some uncut footage, unseen footage, I can go check that out. It's linked down below. Basically, there's no teal. We haven't seen any teal come in. If the teal aren't here, we got to build something that attracts them when they fly over. I mean, we saw some, but like they're not loaded like they should be. I think it's probably because they don't have a ton of food. And this is loaded with barnyard grass, as you guys have seen. So if we can get some water in there, maybe give it a week or so, let the teal find it we should be in business anyways that's kind of the update we're gonna sit back relax enjoy this nice beautiful morning it's gonna get hot later today
today, but right now it's nice. And watch these boys do some work. You guys stay tuned. Folks, they've completed it. it. Means I just sat here and watched it. I've never seen a well get put in, so I was like, I was low key fascinated with the strap. But wah bam, we have 500 gallons a minute of pure river water. Because that's basically we're on the river bottom here. So they ran pipe there, and then I'll show you over there when we get done. But that's the main pipe. So this is the middle. So we've got a little hole there in the cattails. That's our teal spot, and this was the north spot right in here. So we put it further on the north side, knowing a lot of the water is probably gonna naturally run south. If you put it on the south end, it's gonna take forever for the water to get pushed north. So we almost put it a little bit on the high side, knowing it'll run down and it'll also help filter it, which I talked about earlier. And then that's power. Now, it's probably a little too high up. Banjo would be swinging around, shooting birds and accidentally blow our fuses off, but they just threw some ran, I don't know what piece of metal that is, but they're gonna put the power boxes, outlet plugs here. I told them to go high, cause I wasn't sure how high we could get this water before it goes over the levees or before we have like massive dam breakages. So I said, go high. More than likely, this sucker's probably gonna end up right about here. Probably about yay high. We're on the north side, it doesn't get deep here. At least, it didn't last year. This is totally different, because we have a pump right in front of it. So basically, I was like, I would probably put it here, but all I know is I would let this run all night, and I'd come back tomorrow, and there's water sitting inside the boxes. I don't know, a duck lands and gets fried or something. I'm trying to avoid that situation. No one wants electrocuted teal, okay? I'm trying to shoot them, not kill them. Wow, this is, this is soggy right here. So, water's getting it. By them tearing it up, honestly, gave us another little shooting lane here. They oh, took okay. out them cattails. I'm like, I'm not mad about it, honestly. Because like honestly, you could sit at the point of that and you could shoot over there, you could shoot over there and up in front. So they gave us another shooting area unintentionally. They just wiped out basically just cattails and barnyard grass and whatnot. But that's pipe number one. We did put up a second pipe. It doesn't double the flow. You know, right now it's 500 gallons a minute. If you add the pipe, it'll be 250 gallons a minute per. But in order to more evenly distribute the water, we wanted to add one in this canal. So this canal we dug when we built this thing. And this was just to ensure water would be here for the ducks. It also seconds as a runoff drain, meaning when it rains or we have the pump on, it'll go off here. So that way we can come out here and potentially plant corn and mill it next spring. This will hold water and it'll keep this more high and dry. That's why people dig ditches around ag fields and stuff like that. It worked as a way to make sure there's water here in case this high ground was a little too much. So we put another one right here. So this thing's capped on. If you take that cap off, you're gonna have a freaking geyser. We got the little elbow here. You put that on there and it'll shoot water into the canal. And so all that would do is fill the canal, which the canal wraps up and the canal wraps all the way down. I want the water first to run to the South Teal Pond. For it to run here, it would have to then fill up all the deep holes and then cross. And water don't run uphill. I know I didn't take physics, but I promise you, it isn't going uphill. So we put the water up on the hill to run down the hill. This is specifically for getting more water in a different area. Like if we flood this tonight and it floods all night long and we get here and our Teal Pond's full, but we want this thing to have water and we want the back end to have water and we want that end to have water because this is probably the last thing to have water based from that pump. You can see, well you can't see because I know elevation doesn't work on the camera, but the height from the top of that to the pipe, it runs down. So water will not make it this way. And it didn't cost us anything really. Or at least I, I don't think it cost me much to run a second one. I mean, technically you could have ran a third one just to evenly distribute the water. Because even Zach and I are talking, we're like, wonder how long is it? I mean, look, it's already dry. It's seeping faster than it's pumping, I think. So if you have two going, yes, technically it's it's cutting that in half, but it's gonna look like there's more water, if that makes any sense. Because once there's certain water, you're gonna have seepage, but it'll slowly decrease, right? Each day, it'll seep less and less and less because it's saturated. Having a pipe here will saturate this. Here's what could happen. You could have this whole thing full, and the second it gets so far, it spills over, then the water just goes It's like taking a straw and just you know what I mean? And then now your water's gone. So this will help fill this creek and kind of seal it. So when the water does come over the edge, you don't lose it to seepage, if that makes sense. I feel like it makes sense, but then when I go back to the theory of it cuts the gallons per minute in half, 
Does it matter? I don't know. I think all it does is it distributes the water in a larger area. It doesn't distribute more water. And I don't know if that's good or not. All I know is that thing's been running for 10 minutes, which is 5,000 gallons. And it don't look like there's more than a raindrop at all. I mean, there ain't much. I feel like it's seeping more than it's, it's pumping. I mean, 500 gallons a minute was the most we could get. Like there was no option unless we put in a bigger, bigger well, which we didn't think was gonna be. Oh, this is drying up quicker than it's coming out. Is it though? You think it is or is it, or, 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 is it in the grass and you just can't tell? Because where is it running? It's gotta be running somewhere. I can see it running down here. I mean, it's, oh no, oh no, oh no. Hang on now. Easy with the boot. Easy with the boot, easy there, buddy. Don't walk over in the soft hole. Let's not tell Banjo about it when it fills with water. Throw like a decoy, oh, Banjo floater, and he's just gonna <laughs> right down. Oh, yeah. So you like, you don't think there's, hang on, I can answer this question if I, don't, if I don't fall in a hole like you. Let's go over here. Dude, oh, bro, there's water right here. Look, I think we're just, we're just experiencing, oh, oh, yo, we got water right here. I think you're all right. I think what's gonna happen, whoa, look at that bubbling. See that? What's going on over there? What's gonna happen is this whole thing is gonna have two inches on it before this has three inches on it. That also probably didn't make sense, but you're not gonna see this go up until all of this has one inch of water. And then the whole thing will go two inch and the whole thing will go three inch. It's not gonna go five inches and then two inches. It, it, it has to go even. So I mean like, oh yeah, bro, you got water out here. It's going. They may have to run for a few days, at least, but it's going. So we got it up on a generator right now. The guys who installed it brought one because the power guys are coming next week. So how this is gonna work is I literally walk up, I flip a switch, and that's what it looks like. Now, this is a huge kill hole on the north end. In the winter, we're gonna have ice eaters that are gonna be plugged into that power. But if we wanna make it bigger, you literally could walk over the night before and flip it on. Actually, it's gonna be kinda cool. You ever seen people do this? Where they flood a thin layer of water on the ice. So it looks like a pond, but it's frozen. Frozen. And so you put your decoys on the ice, you put shells, and then you literally put that much water. The duck thinks the whole thing's a lake, but it's all ice and you can walk across it. Felix has told me about this. We have to, te we have to test it. We could not run ice eaters. Let it freeze like a solid block of ice. Pump that for a day and put three, four inches on top of the whole thing. You'll fall on your ass when you're walking, but you, it don't have to be water. And then you just put shell decoys and then you shoot them. Felix told me, I'll have to try it because I don't believe it, but we're gonna let this run for a couple days. We'll check in probably tomorrow sometime and give you guys an update. We're literally just gonna let this run all night. So we'll check on it. Hopefully you guys have enjoyed the video so far. It may seem boring to some of you guys, but this has been like two years in the making is this. I know that don't look like much, but this has taken me two years to get to the point of having my own floodable marsh. It's a dream come true. It might take a few more days for this dream to come to fruition. So you guys stay tuned. Well, folks, it's the next morning. We have been pumping water for 18 hours and boom we got a teal pond look at that question is is it leaking back here is where i remember it leaking decently bad last year here oh uh, there's some water yeah not much honestly not much it's pretty dry not as bad as i thought better than last year last year this was like pretty much a marsh as much as this was i mean our teal pond's looking good it needs about maybe another six inches honestly not a ton by the end of the day today our teal pond will be good now you can see so that's a low spot see now i need to, i need to haul some dirt in and, and pile that up before it gets too too tall which i can do Problem is a lot of the dirt I'm getting has this rock in it, which doesn't really hold water all that great, believe it or not. I'm not sure how much I'm gonna be able to add. I mean, it's decently deep where you are. We just have really tall grass growing. I mean, if we had no grass, it would look like a, a puddle. I mean, that looks good. We just need water up on that end. See how it's leaching up? See how it's leaching? So that means once it leaches up to here, I'm not gonna be able to take a skillet right here without it getting stuck. I don't know if we're getting any more than a teal pond this year, unless I can find some dirt that isn't rocky and I can build it way up, but that looks great. You're looking good right there, what you're doing. It's just, yeah. I mean, we just have a lot of grass. Once that grass dies, it's not bad, honestly. You need another six inches at least. Yep. If you go up a foot, you're gonna be rippling on this edge here. I mean, I'll go show you, we'll go walk it, but I don't think we're even close to getting water on the north side. Like where the pump is pumping, I don't think we're even close. Our elevations are way, way off. So let's slide on down here. I mean, this is plenty deep right here. Plenty, plenty, plenty deep. There's just so much grass. It looks like there's not a lot of water. Like this is right here is knee deep, more than enough. Bet it wouldn't be too hard to just take a rake to all that. Rake the thatch out? Because if you rake the thatch out, you got a teal hole. And then well, honestly, we have a whole nother, we have a, at least another month and a half before we would have to have it. We wouldn't have to have it, but it would be ideal to have water on the north side, you know, for the north winds and stuff like that. But I mean, this is plenty deep. This is a lot of water. Plenty, plenty, plenty deep. We just might need to, uh, like Zach said, break some of this thatch out and this is all grass because this was if you remember this was like dirt which is why there's not much grass here now this was all 
thick grass, which is good because there's seed heads on the barnyard grass and that's what they like. I mean, yeah, this is water. It just didn't look like water. Yeah, yeah this is water. It's not much. You need, like I said, I think another six inches and you'll be about right. Enough for teal to come dabble around in. Let's see, our cattail pockets right over here. Let's go check that out and see. I'm guessing there's not a whole lot of water on it. I mean, we're still in four or five inches of water. Oh, there's some water because this is a low spot here. We mowed just cattails down. You just have so much thatch. If you didn't have thatch, this would look like, I wouldn't say another six inches because it's just floating. You're right, you gotta rake it out somehow. I figured we would have water here. This is plenty, plenty of water for a little teal. See this stuff, this is all floating. You could have 10 feet of water and it's still gonna look like this because it's floating. Yeah, dude, we're, look, we're deep here. We gotta get a deep thatcher. Deep right dude, that's deep. Hmm. I did build the world's largest rake one time to rake out weeds for a pond a few years back. Maybe I could build that again. I don't know if it'd work as great. We're deep here. It just doesn't look like it. We mowed the cattails down. Obviously, it takes a long time for them to break down. So, shee. This would be a sweet little pocket, though, if we could get rid of these cattails. I don't know. If you guys have any ideas on how to get rid of them, let me know. But, I mean, this is plenty, plenty deep right here. Easily enough for teal. Even big ducks, it's pretty, probably good with. We gotta get rid of the kitty cattails. Meow. Let's go over where the water's pumping. I mean, this whole thing's a marsh. You just don't know it. It's just so darn thick. But let's see if there's anything on the north side. About as much water as there was yesterday. And there's nothing on the north side. It's what we were worried about, folks. What we were worried about. Hey, what they did, when they cleared all the cattails out, it actually looks pretty good, though. This actually opened up pretty nice. At least we have a little bit of water for them. It looks like a sheet of water right here. So it's not bad. Bone dry. Now, I'm not about to walk through there like Zach did. Yeah, yikes. I mean, that thing's been running for 18 hours straight, just like that. Man, well, I think we gotta build the dam up another two foot at least. I gotta get some bigger equipment on here. It's gonna take me all day with the skid loader if I have to do it like that. It looks like there's water. Like this is good because visually it looks like there's water, right? There is plenty of water. Right now, six inches of water. But the ducks, you can't see it's water from the sky because it looks like cattails. Our uh, canal's gotten full. Wow. Like, I mean, this is deep right here. I didn't realize this would hold water. Oh, look at this. Oh yeah. So we didn't even turn that on. I wonder if we should turn it on for fun. I mean, I thought this canal would be dry. But let me see how deep this is without dying here. Oh, 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 buddy. Look at this. Oh yeah. Look how deep this is. This is good. We're knee deep here. That's all barnyard grass all the way through there. If we could just get water in this, this might be another little kill hole. Same thing. Look at all, look, this is all barnyard grass. None of this is millet. All barnyard grass, all that. I'm trying to decide if we should turn that pipe on just for fun. I want to see, I kind of want to see what it looks like. Not that this needs more water, but what we could determine is, let's see if it cuts in half. I know that the well guy said it would cut the gallons per minute in half, meaning that's doing 500 now. So this will be 250. That'll be 250. You want to know what I feel like? This is what I feel like. This canal connects over to the the south side faster than that connects to the south side because that just has to run so if we start pumping water here we might get more water on the south end quicker than if we just leave that one even at 500 gallons per minute i'm making excuses i just want to turn that second pipe on and i just want to see what it looks like having two pipes running at one time plenty of water here i mean enough to where i probably sheesh probably shouldn't let this run overnight tonight that's why i come out here i ain't trying to flood the bean field i mean that would be good hunting and all but farmers wouldn't be too happy about it i'll probably let it run most of the rest of the day maybe tonight i'll come check it out and shut it off and we'll just have to call it good for teal and in hopes that they load up. We haven't seen any teal. Banjo, I think, was teal hunting this morning. He didn't see any teal. Anyways, I'm going to go ahead and shut the water off. I want to hook that pipe up with the elbow to shoot water over here. I just want to see what it looks like to have two running at one time. You guys stay tuned. All right. If I open this, I think it's going to shoot like a rocket. Is up it here. running right now? No, I have it off. I have the breaker off. I mean, there's no water. I'm just scared. Whoa. Whoa. Hey, bro, it shot off. Oh. Hello? This is scary. So, I keep the direction the same. Like that? Yeah. Does that look like it's on? It looks right. Well, stand back when I turn it on. Alright. Let's let it rip, baby. You ready? Yeah! That's a weak stream there, buddy. Yeah, she's weak. That's weak. It probably about cut it all in half. I'm looking at the, out, the outside one. <laughs> that bug tastes good. The outside one doesn't quite look like it's cut in half, but this, I'm not sure what good this is gonna do. I got garden hose at home that'll do about that. We'll let it run for the day just to see, but the thing is, obviously we don't have a problem getting water here. Yeah. So putting this here didn't do us really much good. The only thing it will do, if we fill this up first, when that water tries to get here, it'll backfill it wherever else yeah. it needs to go. So it, I don't think it's a bad thing. What would be interesting is over the years as we do this, you know, you can time it. How long does it take to fill this up? Full pool, just one or both, see which one's better. I mean, two always seems better than one to me. I don't see it hurting us and being like, man, we shouldn't have done two because of all that. Like, I don't think it's bad. We'll do this. I mean, it's just gonna 
gonna pump this canal. And like you said, if anything, it might shoot the water that way and maybe push the water up over that north side. So it goes over and then it runs back down and that might help. We really need to trench this further around the north side, I think, just to get water, just to go. Cause that north side's gonna be the toughest spot to get water. But anyways, obviously we got water now, folks. Finally, after two years, several tens of thousands of dollars later, in about 18 hours, we like ish have a duck pond, ish. It's a leaky one still, we still gotta fix that. But we're working on it, we're trying to get it right. Anyways, hopefully you guys at home enjoy today's video. We'll catch you on the next one and peace.